so hello everyone uh, welcome you all to this uh, video so in a few days we are having the exams of uh, the digital image processing so under the professional elective course so there are four courses in that in that i, I have decided to make uh, a few important uh, stuff related to the subject of digital image processing okay so the other three subjects i'm not going to provide any videos because i don't have time but if possible if i get some important questions or important notes and all i'm going to definitely inform it to you guys in the community okay so please stay updated for that whatever uh, the notes i got whatever the notes i get i'm going to be updating it so in these videos around uh, 10 to 15 videos i'm going to make for this subject dip all the important stuffs like uh, referring all the previous year model papers and all for different schemes and all i have finalized few of the topics from all the five modules okay so those things i'm going to cover in the upcoming videos okay so let us starting with the this one block diagram here so this is the question so in the question they might be asking you that this block diagram has some explain the fundamental steps of digital image processing okay if they ask this question so they might be asking that uh, that for around 10 marks so this block diagram and uh, each of them explanation you should be writing it okay so this this is the uh, block of fundamental steps which is used in the image processing so each steps we are going to see in the different modules okay so this is one question which is combined combination of simple all modules so this is one thing which i wanted to discuss so let us discuss now under knowledge base we have one is image acquisition image enhancement image restoration color image processing wavelets and multi resolution processing compression morphological processing segmentation representation and description object recognition okay so these are the key steps involved in the digital image processing so first what do we mean by a digital image it is a two dimensional image which com consists of the components of x and y and uh, in total if you want to represent an image we should be representing it in terms of a pixel okay so that you you all might be knowing it this word is familiar to you guys pixel okay so that pixel could be represented in terms of a digital image as f of x comma y okay the pixel range is from 0 to 255 pixel values okay under that range we are having the shades of black and shades of white that is shades of white would be starting from 255 uh, starting from 0 and shades of black would be uh, going towards the range of 255 like that from 0 to 255 we have different shades and those shades have the number of pixel values okay so in order to enhance these pixel values in different uh, regions of this image processing these are the fundamental steps involved in that image processing technique okay so one by one let us see all of them now you see here first is image acquisition okay so image acquisition is simply it is the primary step of image processing that involves pre-processing such as scaling etc okay so this what do you mean by pre-processing is so before you want to do any processing for a particular image if you have taken one photo and any pre-processing needs to be done that is before any editing the photo that acquisition part should be done okay that is called as pre-processing of the image next is image enhancement image enhancement it enhances the details that is obscured or simply to highlight the certain features of the interest of an image enhancement is simply the highlighting part if you have taken any image if you want to highlight some part of any image so in that part we should be uh, highlighting or you should be changing the pixel values which the user needs to be highlighted okay so in that way uh, in that part whether the pixel value should be increased or decreased so it is left to the user what enhancement he needs to be doing so one is image enhancement next we have image restoration under image restoration it tries to fix the image to get back the real image even if the even if that image doesn't look good okay but it might look clearer and sharper image restoration is simply fixing the image to get back the real image so if we have uh, uh, during the enhancement pur purpose what we do is uh, we highlight the image by necessary by changing the necessary pixel values of a particular region right but if you not if you are not satisfied with that and if you want back the original image then you should be restoring that image so that process is done under image restoration that uh, what it does is it tries to fix the image to get back the real image but even if that image doesn't look good okay if the image is not even it doesn't uh, bother about the image being good or not its simple work is to get back the original image okay next is color image processing so color image processing 
deals uh, has one important color model that is called as rgb model okay there are many other models rgb hsi cmy so those things you are going to discuss in the separate model of uh, module of color image processing in module 4 but simply color image processing simple main models are rgb where again the rgb stands for red green and blue where red shades are again of 0 to 255 green for 0 to 255 and blue also are 0 to 255 okay so this RGB models of the color image processing, it gains importance because of the sig significant importances of digital images over internet, okay. So, a simple black and white image, if you want to adapt it to a color image, so what it could be done is the pixels which you have used for black and white, it would be, it should be changing from RGB, that is three different sets of pixel values you should be giving in order to enhance the quality of the image. So, that's why we are using the color image processing next we have wavelets it is used for transformation of the image from spatial to frequency domain application used in image fusion and image compressor okay application used in image fusion fusion means simply uh, the uh, if you want to uh, enhance the contrasting and uh, brightness or the any other uh, things in the image that would be done using this image fusion techniques okay and also the image compression image compression is simply reducing the quality of the image okay so next is again this compression it deals with the techniques related to reducing the storage of the image or the quality of the image retaining all information in the image okay it reduces the quality without in, without taking any pixel values but if it does not take the pixel values how the quality is reduced it takes one one bits from that okay so that process is called as bit plane slicing. So that also we are going to see in the upcoming videos. So this is about compression. Next we have morphological processing. Under this we have it deals with tools for extracting image components that are useful in representation. Okay. And description of the shape. So this is the simple tool which is used for image extraction. Okay. Image component extraction which are useful for the representation. Next we have image segmentation. It involves the partitioning of an image into constituent parts or objects. If you want to cut the image into different parts, we use the technique called as image segmentation. Okay, where the pixel values, uh, they won't be getting affected, but the image would be separated into different parts. Okay, next we have image representation and description. This is followed immediately after segmentation, constituting boundary of a region. Description deals with the extracting information that results in the quantitative information of the image okay so these are the simple fundamental steps of the image processing which you need to be knowing it so please note it down so next let us deal with the one more important concept which is very important and multiple times repeated that is components of image processing system okay with one block diagram you should be explaining it so under this we have our one simple block diagram here where it consists of a network then we have image displays computer mass storage, hard copy, specialized image processing hardware, image processing software, image sensors and one problem domain. Okay, from here the start, the, from here it starts, then it goes through the image sensing, okay, where the sensing of the image is done and based on the sensing, uh, the image is given to the specialized image processing hardware, okay, where the subcomponents you need to be requiring is one hard copy and the image processing software that is given with those information are directly given to the computer and uh, these are the image displays in which is present inside the computer and the storage also present in the inside the computer and it is linked with the network okay so this is the simple fundamental block of components which is related to the image processing system so here we have the explanation you see here with reference to sensing two elements are required to acquire digital images the first is the physical device that is sensitive to the energy radiated by the object we wish to image okay that is the physical device physical device means image sensing or any hardware or devices which is used those are the physical devices okay it, it is a device for converting output of the physical sensing device to a digital form okay what it does is whatever the output is uh, they, uh, which which you have get, got from the sensors before giving it to the hardware uh, uh, physical device the it would be turning into the digital components okay the physical sensing is due to digital form. For example, in a digital video camera, the sensors produce an electrical output proportional to the light intensity. The digitizer converts the, these outputs to a digital data. Okay. 
Next is specialized image processing hardware. That is this part here. Okay. What this consists of, you see here, it consists of a digitizer plus hardware that performs the arithmetic logic unit in parallel with the entire images. Okay. If you want to do any of the operation which is inside the uh, image, uh, we are, since the image is now converted to the digital form, so any operation based on ALU could be done to that image if you want to enhance the image. Okay. That would be present in this image processing hardware. For example, you see here. ALU is used in averaging images as quickly as they are digitized for the purpose of noise reduction. This type of hardware sometimes is called as front-end subsystem. Okay, and this, and its distinguishes uh, characteristic at, is at speed. Okay, that is this uh, this complete image processing hardware which is specialized. It consists of and it depends of completely on speed. Okay, the operation which is done inside the hardware that is, that is ALU or any other operation in order to reduce the noise reduction or uh, in order to enhance the image, digital images, the main characteristic which you need to be remembering is the speed, okay? That is, it is very speed relatable. Next is the computer. The computer is used in an image processing system, is a general purpose computer and can range from a PC to a supercomputer, okay? It, it has a wide range in the image processing. It is not only uh, set towards PC or normal computers. It could be used as the supercomputers as well, okay? Next is software. Software consists of specialized modules that perform specific tasks. A well-designed package includes the capability for user to write the code that is a minimum utilized that specified module and more sophisticated software packages allow the integration of these modules. Okay, It simply consists of specialized modules which is required to uh, enhance or change any quality of the image. Okay, If you want to enhance the image or uh, if you want to do some changes with some necessary part of the image uh, that is the image cornering or anything that could be done by the software. So one software is a simple software is called as MATLAB or CAD. So these are the simple softwares used uh, which uh, to do these techniques. Okay. Next under storage we have short term storage, online storage and archival storage. Okay. So these are some other exp explanations. Okay. So if you write this many, this many things, you would be easily getting marks. So with this block diagram, it is very, very essential to write it. Okay. So that's all for the video, guys. I had discussed two important concepts from module one. One is the fundamental steps and the components of the image processing system. Okay. So hope you like this video. So please support us by liking your liking the video, subscribe to our channel, keep supporting and we'll see you in the next video with some other important concepts of the subject digital image processing. Okay. So that's all guys. Thank you. So this note should be available in the description. Go and access it.